Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. What were the conditions like in segregated Mexican schools? In the early 20th century, Mexican-American students in California and the Southwest faced significant educational disparities due to segregation. Many school districts, over 80% in California, practiced segregation, separating Mexican-American children from their non-Hispanic white peers. These segregated schools, often located in colonious or segregated residential communities, were typically housed in rundown buildings. The conditions were starkly different from those of Anglo schools, with Mexican schools having inadequate facilities such as substandard plumbing and no heating. The curriculum in these schools was designed to prepare students for menial labor rather than advanced education. Boys were taught industrial skills, while girls were taught domestic tasks. This curriculum was intended to keep Mexican Americans in low-skilled, not low-wage jobs, reflecting the broader societal aim of maintaining them at the lowest rung of the economic ladder. Teachers in these schools were often less experienced compared to those in Anglo schools. The classrooms were more crowded, and the educational materials were of poorer quality. For instance, while Anglo schools taught subjects like geometry and biology, Mexican schools focused on practical skills that would not encourage students to pursue higher education. The segregation was not just physical, but also ideological, reflecting deep-seated racial discrimination. Proponents of segregation justified it based on cleanliness, intellectual ability, and English language proficiency, despite the fact that many Mexican-American children spoke only English. These conditions were part of a broader system of discrimination that extended beyond schools. Mexican Americans were excluded from public facilities like theaters, parks, and restaurants, and they faced significant social and economic barriers. Helpful resources, County Office, Slack, www.countyoffice.org, Cap and Online, Mexican American Resistance to School Segregation, Rethinking Schools, Shape-Shifting Segregation Policies, Learning for Justice, A Tale of Two Schools. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.